Hi, this is Lisa. Welcome to my channel. Today, I am going to show you a decal hack using your stamper. Now, the hack is to make it look like it's a freehand drawing that you did. So, using the water decals, I already took off my design from this hand because, you know, I needed a plain background for you. I did the prep, I did my gel rebalance, and what you wanna do after you file is you wanna do a base coat because in case there's any grooves or nicks or anything like that in your nails, this base coat would be like another layer to ensure that your gel polish hopefully won't pick up any grooves or indents. So you want to do a base coat to all your nails. Give it a cure. So after your base is cured, you're going to want to paint your nails. I'm using it's like a pink shimmery color. Just a nice neutral background. And I'm going to start off with my thumb because you can also do this with decals that are already colored. So I'm just gonna get that one out of the way since that's nice and simple and fast. So you wanna give a nice even coat and then you're gonna wanna cure that. Now it's very important that after you cure it, you wanna leave it sticky. You need that sticky layer for the decal to stick onto. So don't do your top coat. You just wanna give that polish a flash cure and then get to it. So here's the stamper I'm gonna use. In my first video, I did a sheen haul and I showed this stamper and I said that I bought it for a video I wanted to do. So here's that video. Okay, so you wanna make sure your stamper is clean from any lint. So I have my lint roller, don't mind how it looks. We had a little battle, couldn't get the paper off. So make sure there's no lint on there. And I already cut out and picked out the decals I want, as you can see right there. So I'm going to use this colorful one on my thumb. So you just wanna put it on your stamper and you want a little dish or bowl, whatever, with some water in it. And then I have another little dampened dish with some alcohol in it to, you know, just do any cleanup work or anything I have to do. So now you're gonna dip your finger in the water and you're gonna dab this water decal. Gonna dab, 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 dab it, make sure it's all wet. And then what you want to do is you want to wait about 20 to 30 seconds and you want to let, you know, the decal remove itself from the backing, from the paper. So leave that on for a little bit and then get yourself some pointy tweezers. You know, they sell tweezers made for stickers and that's the best tweezer to use for this. Okay, so you want to leave it on for a good while, a minute, to make sure that it sticks onto here, onto your stamper. So then what you're going to do is with your sticky uh, nail, with the sticky layer, is you're going to line up your stamper to wherever you want it and just press it on. And voila, you have the decal easily added. without having to put the decal itself in the dish of water and waiting for it to float off and pick it up with the tweezer and, you know, risk ripping it and all that stuff. So you just want to give it a top coat when you're all done. So after your top coat, you want to cure that nail. All right, so now I'm going to go back to my gel and polish. And remember, you can choose whatever color you want. I'm just doing a nice light color to make this process faster so I don't need to add a million coats. 
All right, so moving on to the next finger. Now this finger is gonna be where I add the decals that I'm gonna color in to make it look like I freehanded it. If you're not good at that, this is a great hack to know. Okay, so like I said, maybe I'll just do all the nails actually. Hopefully I don't uh, get any fuzzies on them as I'm working one by one. But you can do it however you're comfortable. Do it one by one or paint all of them at once. Up to you. You just have to do a flash cure, you know, about 15 to 30 seconds. So I'm going to pick out some colors. Now this one that I already did, it's got, looks like burgundy, purple, dark blue, light blue. So I guess we'll keep with that theme, right? I'm going to choose this other flower because I think this is really cute. You want to dip your finger, add the water. And let that sit. Take your lint-free wipe, dab off some water, press it down. Gonna help that guy out. Okay, peel up your sticker. Okay. And as you just saw, that kind of came up a bit, but you can help it out. Just push it back down. That's all. So I'm gonna color these in. I'm going to do blue at the bottom on both. Just that bottom area. Flesh cure that. Take that out. Clean your brush. I'm gonna go in the maroon. Make sure you get a good amount. And I'm just gonna color in the rest of the flower. Kind of do like an ombre effect. All right. Now just take your decal, align it on your finger, stamp it on. I think that's really pretty. I chose a few different decals because I just want prettier ones. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a butterfly. Stick that on your stamper, get the water, dab it on. You wanna have a little patience cause sometimes it takes a minute to stick on. Some are faster than others, I don't know why. So take your lint-free wipe, get rid of any excess water. I am gonna choose a nice bright pink. So I have this bright pink from Jalen as well, number 133. Let's open her up. That's pretty. Put that on your palette. Okay, get to painting. So I'm going to paint in her wings. So I'm going to start with this big one in the middle. Might be best to like, you know, glob it on, but make sure it's not flooding so you don't have to do two coats. Okay, paint out that wing. Now let's do this part. Come down there. Okay. And then I'm going to do this last little part. Try not to shake. Okay. Looks good to me. What I'll use a turquoise color I already have on here. That would look pretty. So I got a little too much. You want to make sure you can still work with the brush. You don't want 
a big ball at the end because then it might go in places you don't want it to. All right, and you wanna just come down to that tip, maybe take a little off. So you have a nice point. Ugh, I'm too shaky for this. Okay, that wasn't so bad. And I forgot to cure it in between the colors, but hopefully we can do it. But yeah, I would advise curing it in between each color. Just in, so in case you mess up, you can just take off that one color and not all of it. Okay, now you wanna cure that. Just a flash cure, like I said. Clean your brush. You don't want a color sitting on there too long to stain your brush and get embedded. Okay. Now I'm gonna take my pretty butterfly and I'm gonna put it on my ring finger. Hope you can see. Stamp it on, and that's it. Look at how pretty that is. You have a colored in butterfly. I like that one, that one came really good. All right, I'm not in love with how this flower came out. And as you can see, it's lifting a little bit. So I'm just gonna do one more flower. Alrighty, so I chose these two guys. We're gonna do them on my pinky. Put it on your stamper, wet it up. Dab, dab, dab. I like to apply a little pressure, I've learned as I'm going. <laughs> Cause sometimes they take a while to stick. Okay, peel that off. Sometimes you might just need to you might just need to help it out a bit if it looks wrinkly or weird or anything, <laughs> which it does. Okay, perfect. So take your lint-free wipe, get off any excess water. I'm going to do these a pretty pink color because I really like how that turned out. So you want to follow the lines of the petal. Ooh, that's too much. So you don't want that big ball on the end because then you're going to have no control of your brush. And you need control with these little spaces. Because obviously you want nice artwork on your nails. Get a little more. Do over here. Now you can go over the black dot in the middle. Because the black is going to show through. And that's the beauty of this. You don't have to be too precise. You just don't want to go out of the lines. That's the thing you have to remember. Don't go out of the lines. Because then you just got a big old mess. All right, these. Let me take off a little more. All right, these last two. One for you. And a little blob for you. Since these are separated enough, I won't risk messing it up. I'm just gonna use this green, because this was a nice bright color for you guys to see too, and color in your other flower. Okay, make sure to stay in the lines. And you see how good this is using an opaque nail polish? You really just need that one coat. I mean, depending on the color, but. You wanna choose wisely to make this as easy for you as possible because that's the whole point of a hack. So you wanna give that a cure, a flash cure. And your whole stamper fits right in, which is great. Well, that one does at least. <laughs> I mean, they all pretty much should. Clean your brush, twirl that around, keep the shape. Okay, 
quick flash care. So now I'm going to take these cute flowers and you just want to take a look, see how you want it. Do you like it that way? Do you like it that way? I think I'll do the pink on the top and I'm going to do it on my pinky. It should fit nicely right there. Press down and you're done. So you just want to top coat them when you're all done. If you like what you did, if you don't, it's really easy to peel them off. I'll show you with this one. You can just peel it off and start over, put on a new one. And that's it. You can scrape off this. See? Give that nail a cleaning. And then I would just add another base coat so you have a sticky layer again or another coat is polished whatever and then redo a new decal okay so that's my video for today and i hope you enjoyed it here's the colored in decals it was really fun to do you still get to do a little artwork while not going crazy and you got some decals on you that look like freehand work hope you guys try it out and i'll see you in my next video thank you bye